Good morrow. Today, I'm going to be featured in the Starlight. And I'm doing an updated video on scarves. And how could you not include me in the video? Come on, people. We're going to do the male scarfing. Do you guys wear scarves? I love scarves. When I was in college, I used to like, every time I'd wear something, I'd have to put a scarf on it. It'd be like, put on a t-shirt, put on a scarf. This is my luck number one. I'm just going to the area. How do I look? Supermodel! Am I a supermodel? No. <laughs> I made it past the first one. We're on to the second one now, folks. This is more what do you formal. think? Was I amazing? You were okay. This is a more Aww. formal one. Come on. This is luck number two. Just to note, do you see what I'm wearing, folks? And do you know how hot it is today? I am so hot, I am sweating, but I am a goddamn professional! Do I act like Biggles? You know Biggles from the show? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Aww. I've been dressed. Come on. Come on, like sit. I'm gonna oh. get finished! And here we have the final look. The... What do you think? Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Why? Child abuse. Scratching. My foot. Hmm? I want to be in a video too, Mom. I have something to say. Come on, Dad. What's that on the floor, Abby? What's that? What's that, Abby? What's that? Walkies? Are we going walkies? Are we going walkies? Are we going walkies? Get the walkies, Abby. Get the walkies. Get the walkies. Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers, guys. Guys, I love the walkies. I love the walkies so goddamn much. Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers, creepers. Oh, jeepers. Albie's going for a walkies! This is not good. <laughs> this is not good, folks. Sorry, that was me. I couldn't hold it. I had to. I'm talking to the boyfriends here. Do you guys ever borrow your girlfriend's socks? And she has a big problem with it because you've got these big Mongo feet. And they stretch out her socks. And it always goes epifleckle. If I borrow her socks. And I say that like, are we supposed to be some sort of a bonded unit? Where we can share our socks, and share our love, and share our lives together? But oh no. She draws the line at sharing socks. She'll share everything else in life. But when it comes to socks, that's just going too far. Do you have a statement to add? No. It's, can I borrow your socks please? No. Please. No, you have ones there. But uh, I'm wearing the shorts and I can't wear those no, ones. Sorry. I'm serious. I don't have any uh, any others for you. I could find some. No. Sorry. This is it, guys. This is the truth. Now you see her true colors. Now it's all been unmasked. Now, socks for Joan Nathan. I can not wear socks, but I don't wear not wearing socks and soft shoes, but when you wear little hard shoes, this is what I've got to choose from. These big purple, purpley ones, or this, winter ones. Do you see what I've got to choose from? These two. These two. On a summer sunny day. On a summer sunny day. By the box I dated stray. I don't know. Look, we have to choose from. Mm -hmm. And you don't care. You're happily just to continue on in your life, knowing yeah, of my strife. I'm a rhymist, you know. A rhymissimo. Rhymissimo. Do you guys have dogs? If you don't, you should get a dog because it's so relaxing to like bring your dog for a walk. Do you ever find that? It's probably like. The most relaxing thing that I've probably ever done. Whenever you're like, you want to just think about things, you want to just like relax and walk around. Walking a dog is is pretty therapeutical. Therapeutical? Therapeutic? Therapeutic, pudic, pudical? Therapeutic? That's a big can of Red Bull. Isn't it funny how dogs have to like sniff, 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 sniff everything? and pee on everything 
But like imagine humans went around doing that like every time you see a wall just gotta give it a quick sniff and then like pee on it. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh my god, it'd be so funny to see like I'll be I'll be just chased to leave under the middle of the road. Probably wasn't the best thing to do today. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. I had the camera off, right? But I had it in my pocket and I was gonna turn around but I didn't. I walked around the corner, right? And there's two guards. Uh, coming towards me, two girl, female guards, and uh, she stopped. She's like, "Sorry, can I ask you some questions?" I was like, "What the hell is this about?" You know, she's like, um, "Is that a Maltese?" And she starts going on and on about how she wants a Maltese and all. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Abby, of course, was like, "What the hell are those people wearing?" Because they have those like bulletproof vests or whatever on. It was really, really funny, but I can't believe I missed it. Pretty much at the ocean's edge. Do you ever like go for a big long walk, right? And set it out and you're like, yeah, this is gonna be like an adventure of a lifetime. Woo! -hoo! And then you get about like halfway, you know, you're kinda halfway to where turn back time is, and you're bloody destroyed, and you're thinking to yourself, this is probably a big bad idea. Because I am like destroyed. But now, I have to go and do that all over again to get home. Can I ring a taxi? Okay, so you might have seen in a video or two ago, right? I was talking about a Russian log or a, a Russian slice. It's this thing they sell in Dunn stores and they used to sell in Tesco's, right? So, we looked up online last night and we got the recipe to make it. Looks like a bowl of poop. But now we're going to take it out. So, um, assistant, scalpel. I actually need a scalpel, but I was going to say that. Give me something that will like tease it out. Tease you. Lazzle. Why are there never any lines? <sighs> this is what she hands me. Seriously, we've got to do it. No, gentle, gentle, gentle with it. Gentle. Don't just, don't just pop it out. Don't just pop it out. Whoa. Pop it here. Oh kind yeah. Of, kind of worked. Look what I made. I made a pudding! I didn't even mean to make a pudding! <laughs> Alright. Most important part. Chop it in half. This is compressed. This is like three cakes mushed into one cake. Okay, we could use a knife. We could <laughs> pretend that we're professionals here and use a knife. Or we could gut it. Gut it with a spoon. It's probably better that Anna actually has a spoon so she doesn't cut herself. Some days it's really exciting, some days it's not. You know, and I suppose that's the whole point of this, isn't it? Showing you that life is a variety show. What if you wanted to invest a certain amount of time into just this? Not just this, like if you got like if you decided to put your life on hold in a way, right? And you said, okay, like what the hell is a year, you know? What is time in your life? And you said, what if I were to just like do this, you know, and just see where see where it leads you, you know, take take chances, take risks, go in certain directions that you wouldn't normally go, just to see where it would go, because it could be interesting, you know, to see. I don't know. I don't know. It's totally cool to look back on. I don't know, I don't know. What would you do? What do you think? Wouldn't it be cool to be able to see your, like your best bits of your life? Or I don't know, like it's just, I just find that when you're looking back on it, it's really interesting and it's really interesting to watch like something unfold, something develop. Like this is like the perfect character relation. Like when I was doing my thesis and I was trying to understand what like, what would be like to make the best interactive experience and always what you find is the trying to understand and get into the, you know what I mean, the archetype of the main characters and how you could really, you know, connect with them and it's always, it all, what always lacks is that you don't know anything about them and this is like, this is like the, the duration of the show which is like you guys are getting to know us and we're all getting to know each other and you know, maybe on day 20 something's going to happen, maybe day 15, maybe tomorrow, who knows because there's nothing really planned but it's really exciting to to be able to look back at it, to kind of document, to say like, on this day, this is happening.